Hey guys, welcome back to Kali J's kitchen. Today I'll take you back in the kitchen with me and I'll show you how I prepared my Jamaican steamed fish with crackers. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment and tell a friend, tell another friend about Kali J's kitchen. You can also follow me on all social media platforms on Facebook, it's Kali J's kitchen. Follow me on Instagram, it's Kali kitchen underscore one. So here I have my black pepper and salt for my fish. I also have all purple seasoning that I'm going to use on my fish also. I also have Italian seasoning and garlic powder. I'm going to use a bit of butter and I also have my crackers for my fish. I'm going to add some water and of course I have my fish with which is the main ingredients here and I have grunt and parrot fish I also have some pimento berries and some vegetable oil I'm also gonna add my vegetables to my fish and these are okra I also have garlic I'm gonna add some tomatoes some scotch bonnet pepper Irish potato pumpkin I also have onion and I have scallion I'm also gonna add some bell peppers so for the vegetables I'm just gonna go ahead and give them some rough chops off camera so now the first thing that you want to do you just want to go ahead and season your fish so for the seasoning all I'm gonna add to the fish at this stage is some black pepper and salt for most Jamaicans or most persons that I know, they don't like to add the fish seasoning to the fish whenever they're going to fry it or whenever they are going to cook it at this stage. What they like to do is add the black pepper and salt. So once again, guys, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and tell your friends, tell your family members about Kali J's Kitchen. And just a note, um... Everybody cook different guys. So if you don't want to add the black pepper and salt, it is fine Go ahead and add whatever you want to add to your fish Always try to substitute something for something if you don't have this the season that I'm gonna that I'm gonna use Go ahead and use something else. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some of the Vegetable oil and I'm also gonna add the pimento berries to the oil and I'm gonna add the pumpkin and the Irish potato and I'm gonna leave this for roughly one minute or two minutes just to let them get a little bit soft then I'm gonna come back and add the water Alright guys, so now I have added the water. I'm just going to cover this and let the vegetables get a little bit soft and I'm going to come back to you. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like after about two minutes or so. I leave it, allow it to just get a little bit soft because you don't want your vegetables to get too soft. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and season this. As you can see, I added the all-purpose seasoning and I also added the butter. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go ahead and add the garlic powder and also I'm going to add the Italian seasoning. And I don't want my vegetables to be too soft, as I said before. And when you're seasoning this, always ensure that you taste just in case it needs some more seasoning. Alright guys, as you can see, I am adding some more vegetables. So I'm adding the okra. I'm also adding the onion, the scallion, the bell peppers, the tomatoes. And of course, I add my scotch bonnet pepper whenever you're cooking steam fish always ensure you had a piece of scotch bonnet pepper now guys if you have cock soup you can go ahead and add some of it to this but in this case i do not have any cock soup so i will not add any all right look at that guys look look at the color 
that the colors are popping all right guys so now it's time to go ahead and of course i'm gonna go ahead and add the fish so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add one fish at a time and then i'm gonna add some of the vegetables on top of the fish now guys within 15 minutes this is cooked because you don't want to overcook the vegetables and the fish so i'm just gonna go ahead and add the other two fish and then i'm gonna allow this to cook and of course i'm gonna add some more water not too much water but i'm gonna add some water to just cover this and allow it to cook so i'm gonna show you what it looks like when i add the water So guys, once again, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends, tell your family members about Kali J's Kitchen. Follow me on all social media platforms. Platforms. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram. And make sure you turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. So guys, this is what my steam fish looks like. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add the crackers. And of course, I'm going to leave this for another two minutes and then I'm going to show you the finished product of my Jamaican steamed fish with crackers. So guys, this is what my steamed fish looks like. As you can see, it is finished. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and plate this and I'm going to add some corn some boiled corn on the side and show you guys what it looks like all right guys so this is the final product of my jamaican steam fish with crackers i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you find this video useful guys and i hope you subscribe to my channel remember to tell your friends tell your family members about Kali J's kitchen and have them subscribe to my channel once again guys thank you so much for watching and thank you guys for sharing thank you for liking this video and thank you for your